up in Italy, very small town named Aquilonia, province Avellino. Aquilonia is a town in a mount, and we have a lot of meat over there. Family. I come from a very small family. I'm the only one child. My mother was 14 child. I end up, I stay by myself. I was 14 year old, and I was to stay all the time with my mom, ask a question, Ma, I wanted to cook, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that. My mother let me to cook. She was very patient with me to teach me to cook. She was very sick, and I started to cry because in the, in the time we know was used to like buy the bread. We was used to make own make bread. So I started to cry with my mother, Ma, I got to do it, I got to help you. I wanted to learn how to do the bread. I did it the first time, and I cried the same way after the bread that they come out because it was not too good. But I tried the second time, it was very good. When I come in the uh, United States, I was 21 years old in 1975. Well, it was not too much difference, like for finding the stuff I was, re I was reused to, to cook. But it was a little hard for me to speak. It, it, was, I, it was more hard for me because I was feel by myself. I don't have nobody. I, I like to cook very much, but the favorite is for me, it is more for bacon. And we're cooking. So today on Cooking with Nana, we've got a really special treat because I have an enormous sweet tooth. And we're going to be making ricotta cheesecake. And to help me do that, I have Nonna Rosetta from Aquilonia, and that's located in Avellino, Italy, and it's a southwestern region of Italy. So, what are we going to do first for this beautiful cheesecake? We got to start with the crust. We need to frost a bowl. A bowl? I can handle that. One egg. One egg. Two ounces of sugar. Start mixing that yeah, up, mix. Nonna. We've got about a half a cup of sugar right here. Mm -hmm. You know, in Italy, eggs and sugar is in itself a dessert, right? It's a bayona. Yes. It's for babies. So what else we're gonna... A quarter cup of milk. A quarter cup of milk. Is that funny? I'm having lots of funny. What else do we put in here? A quarter cup of butter. Quarter cup of butter. This is just a half a stick of butter that we've melted on the stove. You could do this in the microwave too. Half a spoon baking powder. Got our baking powder. And this is a tablespoon of baking powder. Now we add the flour. We add our flour. Just add a little bit at a time and you'll be all right. This over here yes. is about four cups of flour. That's the best way, add a little bit at a time. Little bit at a time, it'll never, get, it'll never hurt you. So we mix with our hands and you know, you're not really cooking unless you get dirty. I mean, we're Italian, so we talk with our hands, we eat with our hands. We're not afraid to cook with our hands. That's the best way to mix. Best way, yeah. Who needs spoons? So just transfer your dough onto the table. I know this is a little intimidating, but don't worry. It's not that big of a mess. A little bit more flour. If you have any sticky dough on your hands, flour is really good at taking care of that. So who would you make this this uh, cheesecake for? Who we'll make food? We'll who do you make it for? Who likes it in your family? Everybody likes it, but especially my older daughter. She asks for me all the time. Your cheesecake? She asks you for yeah. cheesecake? What about your grandchildren? Oh, they love everything what I do. I didn't enjoy it with my... My grandchildren do everything. And uh, 
Does your granddaughter ever try and bake with you? Oh, yes. They try to bake in like chocolate chips. Yeah. They want to decorate cupcake. They have a lot of fun with me. Oh, I'm going to tell you the story from my, from my granddaughter, Sophia. She, I was a babysitter. And she came and said to me, Nonna, she said, why do Sophia? I you not do nothing. So what do you want me to do? I do do cookie. <laughs> she was cookie? so happy. Now you try. Now I try? So did you do the cookie? How does it yes. start? Yes. You did the co what kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies? You let uh, her boss you around like one. that? She said, the last time I'm going to take home. Okay. So wow. No problem. Very authoritative three-year-old. She's three, right? Yes. So we're kneading this dough. Just knead it with your hands, you know. Get really aggressive. And how do you know when the dough's done, when you can start it working? It's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth? This looks smooth to me. A little bit more. A little more? more smooth. All right. Okay, now we do like one round, okay, like, like that. Like a ball? Like that. Like a ball, okay. Roll it across the table so you get a really ball-like okay. shape. Now you got to squeeze on the top. You got to squeeze on the top, like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Put like a big handprint in the middle okay. of it. Okay. Okay. okay, now we need a roll. We're going to be using a, roll. a rolling pin. How fun. Okay. And we're going to roll Just out. A little bit of flour. And we start. Use flour on top because you don't want the rolling pin to stick to the dough. Keep it torn, torn. Then they come like... If you want to try to sell, I let you try. You let okay? me try, but you're doing such a good job. <laughs> try. Okay. So we're going to... You want to roll this out to more than nine inches because we're using a nine inch spring form pan. But this crust is going to actually come up and all around the sides of the cake. So it's going to act like a little nest for our cake. So you want this to be bigger than nine inches because whatever hangs up off the side, you're going to be able to cut off. You think it's hard for you to do that? It's a little hard. I'm not going to lie. You must work out. But once you've tasted the cheesecake... It's worth the hard work, right? Exactly. You got to say, oh, this recipe, I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. Well, I'm not going to forget this anytime soon. So this is coming out, it looks like a pizza dough. Can I use this for pizza? Yeah, like whatever you have left over. If you want to do, want to put a little chocolate inside, it's sweet. Yeah, like a sweet pizza, like a dessert pizza. I like the idea of that. But that's another show. Okay, now it is ready, we need the pan. So we're going to be using our 9-inch spring form pan. And you want to grease this, and we're going to use some butter to grease it, but you can use cooking spray, it makes no difference. Butter and flour. Okay, now I'm going to show you the way I put the flour, okay? Okay. You just turn, turn, turn. Yeah. So all your flour is going to stick to your butter, and it's really going to make sure that your cake does not stick to your pan, because that is the worst thing that happens. And they go see in here. So you're just going to lay your crust inside your pan and let any extra just hang over the top because we're going to take care of that. Now we got to mix the ricotta. We're ready for our mix. Delicious. This is going to be a flourless ricotta filling and we have two pounds of ricotta. Okay. 
And what else? Six eggs. Six eggs. And what A else? A cup of sugar. A cup of sugar. Okay. Vanilla. I love the smell of this. It smells so wonderful. So I'm gonna get the vanilla powder. And now you gotta mix. mix. I gotta mix. Yes. Oh, I gotta mix. Okay. Okay. And yeah. while we do that, Nonna Rosetta is gonna zest a lemon and an orange. The smell is very good. The smell is really good. I can smell it from here. And how much zest are we using? About a tablespoon? Yeah. Just make about a tablespoon of zest. It doesn't even come out to a whole lemon or a whole orange. Or you could just omit it if you really don't like it. If people like it, you can add a little bit of juice too. Juice of one orange makes it really, really good. And this looks done? Yes. It's done. So we're going to put our mixer away. And we can start filling up our crust. Okay. That looks like it's going to be great. And now whatever. We cut, now we cut a little bit. Yeah, whatever crust come over. is left over, you just cut off the excess. And you can use a regular knife for this. I know we're using a ravioli cutter, but that's only because it's a little bit easier because of the swivel motion. And we have one. This is ready to go into the oven. And we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees. And how long is this going to bake for? About one hour and a half. Yeah, it's a long time, but it's well worth it once you get this beautiful finished product. So we're going to go over there. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to put my oven mitts on, actually, because we have a surprise. So let's take this over to the oven. And we have one already finished. This is a beautiful cheesecake. And we've let this cool. So we're going to go ahead and start presenting. Open. Open. Now, considering we've greased this very well, there should be no surprises here. It and it just pops right off. And look at that, that is so beautiful. Now you can finish this cake the way you want. If you want to put a fruit on the top, like strawberry, cherry, any kind of fruit, grape, any kind of fruit you want to put. Yeah, it works do it really with well with fruit. Oh, and that's just so pretty and simple and elegant. I can't wait to taste this. So we're going to Take this out because I am starving. The smell is great. So let's just cut a nice big piece because I love dessert. It's my favorite part of the day. You gotta love this one. What a beautiful piece of cheesecake. Just like that. And I wanna taste it. Do you wanna taste oh, it too? Yes. You made I can't it. Wait. This is beautiful. Mmm. It's so delicious, so creamy, and you can really, really taste the citrus. And that's my you favorite really like part it? about it. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm happy too. Sweets always make me happy. But thank you for being on the show. I'm happy. And being my nonna. I'm happy to work with you. I'm really <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> Likewise. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.